Hello everybody. Today we will try to save one more power supply. It's a cheap tech, 750 watts. The seal is not broken. The man who brought it to me said that his circuit breaker tripped. So it means that there is a short at the input. So there is no point to check it. Actually, I checked it and confirmed that there is a short at the input. The main capacitor is bulging up, so probably we have a problem at the PFC section because it is very often when the main capacitor fails, PFC fails afterwards. But we will see, we will see together. I removed the PCB, nothing blown. On this side, no burned SMD components, which is good, because sometimes they burn and you cannot recognize them. This time, all looks good. Let's check it together. Start at the diode bridge, and we've got a short at the plus and minus, but if we check diode by diode, as you can see, all four diodes are good, only at the output is some fault. Let's find the fuse. This is a fuse and it's open circuit, as you can see. So next step we check the power transistors, APFC transistors, and here is a short. There are two of them. This is the APFC diode, which is good. So if we check source to gate, this one is good and the left one is bad. That's why I removed it. As you can see, let's check it off PCB. And that's definitely a bad one. If we check it one more time. And now we don't have a shirt. At the diet bridge we also don't have a shirt. So that was our culprit. We should check the capacitor. But I, as I said I can see it's bad. Anyway. I removed the fuse, now let's check the capacitor, just for the record, to confirm that this is actually the main culprit, that is the guy who failed the first and then all the elements failed, transistor and the fuse, the fuse was the saver actually. And as you can see, it's pika ferrets, a million times less than it should be. Let's check it with a multimeter. And sometimes they even fail short, not this time, but the capacitor is actually a bad one, a cheap one. Here I found a better one, it's more capacity. 470 compared to 390 but very important its temperature is higher the one that was used only had 85 degrees temperature rating which is the lowest and the cheapest let's check that a new one not a new a used one but a good one is a good and as you can see it is, check with the multimeter and it reads 420 micro which is acceptable 20% of allowance. That's a bad transistor, I'm gonna put 21N50 which is 
5 amps better 10 amps fuse a new one compared to an old one let's add some thermal grease white silicone one clean the surface in order not to have any particles that can make heat conductance worse spread it out Some people may argue that we should put the same transistor, but I don't think that this is really necessary. The gate charges, I checked for this. I put 90 nanocoulons, and uh, that was used before. It It is 66 nanocoulons. I hope I pronounce it correctly, coulons. And the driver, it has some extra capacity to drive gates, so I think it's gonna be fine. And it is gonna be fine. I checked the current shunt resistors at the PFC section and these were good. Now I'm putting back a new capacitor, solder it. Just like this. Solder the transistor. Off camera I checked all the SMD components. You should do this also. And all were good. Let's install the fuse. Maybe it would be a better decision to put a small wire at first, but I'm too confident that it's gonna work because I don't see any problems it not to work. Clean it with alcohol. And that's it, we are ready to test. This time I decided to record all the process. Maybe it's not the best decision, maybe I should just show you the important parts of the process. I don't know, but just for a change, I make it I made it like this. And as you can see, the PS on light was on. The power supply turns on, which is good. Now I'm going to put everything back. Discharge the main and the good capacitor. Because it, it is very unpleasant to be hit by discharge. About 380 volts. And I've noticed that when you are hit with a mains, you can feel as current flows to your legs, to the ground. But I didn't feel the same when I was hit by a discharge from a capacitor. It, and for me it seemed like I was charged myself and my whole body was charged, not just to the ground. Even my hairs seemed moved slightly. Maybe... That was some conditions. I was sitting at the chair. The chair was not conductive to the ground. And that's why I was charged with 300 volts charge. I don't know, but it is very unpleasant. And I don't recommend anyone to do this. Okay. I'll, I put everything back, all the screws. Just like this, not a big deal. And let's test it one more time. Maybe when we were putting everything back, we made some mistakes. Maybe there is a something touching the cover, or I don't know. But 
of this time everything looks okay let's put a, another tester with this I check the PS good pa power good extra power good 70 milliseconds which is too low that's because I'm turning the power supply through or wire or via I don't know how to pronounce it via or wire wire isolating transformer this, this time I connected it directly to the mains and as you can see to 240 milliseconds which is perfect from 100 to 500 milliseconds it is should be so this one is saved I'm gonna test it off camera and see you next time bye